here we go. I had to check to see if the video seems to be stalling for the first bit. So, what I really need you guys to know is when it comes to art, when it comes to spirituality, when it comes to improving yourself, when it comes to being better at any specific skill, you have sacrifices. And obviously, you can be sacrificing time, energy, possibly willpower, and hardships, you know, things like that. You're going to be experiencing some negative things, but it will be out. It will be worth it if that's what you want. But I'm talking about the sacrifices that you don't really know and understand. So let me give one example here. So when it comes to parkour, you start moving around, you start doing jumps all over the place, vaulting over many things. Well, what you're going to start realizing is you can't look at anything the same. You can't see architecture the same again. You see it, you're like, I want to jump off of it. I want to climb on this. I want to do this. I want to do that. And now that can be good, but that can also be bad. Because let's say you can't do that, then it's like, I'll just sit here and pretend that I don't want to. You know? So you're going to be experiencing times that you're not going to like. And there are sacrifices that you need to understand. Now, another thing that that uh, kind of relates to is that you aren't going to be the same as a normal person. You're not going to have the same sort of, you're not going to be able to see the same, and you're not going to be able to connect the same. Now, a lot of times this is a good thing. Sometimes this is a bad thing because if any time you go against the status quo and you do something different, you're obviously going to have to change up the way you do things. And if you don't want to deal with that, well, you just have to remember that's what you're going to have to be dealing with. So another thing when it comes to art, now I think this is a plus in my opinion. Now once you, once you start dealing with art, you'll be seeing things, right? And you'll see and you'll just think about how to paint them. But that can also be negative because, first of all, you do see the beauty of nature and you see the details, but that also kind of it lets you think you look at the details versus the bigger picture and just enjoy the view sometimes. So I guess after making this video, I guess I kind of made a connection here. It's not so much that well, you're going to deal with differences and it's not so much that it's a sacrifice. Well, I guess it kind of is because you're changing. But it's not so much a sacrifice and negative as it is kind of the way that you use it as well. And so whenever you deal with these new changes, because you're not used to them, you have to realize you have to overcome these and make it do a positive. So what you need to do is you need to use it in a positive way. And once you start painting, just realize, look at the beauty. Don't look so much at the details. And just kind of enjoy that. And that'll probably help you with writer's block, or painter's block, which is when you look at your painting and it looks horrible, but everyone else sees it and it looks great. It only works for your paintings. <laughs> I've had some of them sometimes. And sort of. I don't know. Not, not really. Not too bad. But uh, yeah. So basically what I need you guys to know is when you start doing things that are out of the ordinary, you're going to be changing your life. You're going to be changing your mindset. You're going to be changing the way you see things. And I guess one of the things that, that I want to talk about that I forgot to talk about is that I kind of, I've been losing some of my attention span when it comes to some people talking. And I'm not sure what that's from, whether that's a lack of sleep or from me being more of an artist. And I think that might be it because I just using so much attention on paintings and this, that, and the other that uh, sometimes it's a little bit harder to listen to people. So just remember there are going to be consequences to your actions. Consequences does not have to be negative. It can be a good thing. So keep that in mind. Keep in mind things will be different. Thanks for watching. Go out there. Make the connections, understand, and realize that I'm not trying to scare you away. I'm trying to let you know what to expect. So, thanks for watching. Now I'm starting to make some videos. Now you can at least go and comment and like all the videos that I put out, which you won't because nobody else does. So, thanks for watching. If you like the artwork, go to my Etsy shop. That's not finished. Don't worry. We just blocked that. Go to my Etsy shop and um, check out what I got there. Uh, just look, you can see through our athlete on which is my channel name on my Etsy shop. Maybe there's a link in the description. I don't know. And, uh, yeah, if you want to buy something, that would be greatly appreciated. And, um, yeah. So thanks for watching. 
hopefully now you understand what you're getting into. So have a nice day, make connections, and uh, know what you're willing to put into it.